I'm going to demonstrate the stitches used in the one row scarf. And this isn't my design. This pattern is by Stephanie Pearl McPhee, also known as the Yarn Harlot. She's a blogger and an author, and she's very funny if you haven't checked her out. If you um, visit the video description field below or go to my website by clicking the little I, um, you'll find lots of information there, but I'll also have some links to Stephanie Pearl McPhee. And the reason that I want to demonstrate this is that I recommend this scarf all the time. So I thought it was about time I had a video showing the different stitches used. I recommend this, um, well, it's, it's a great scarf for anybody, really, to knit, and it's, it's fun to knit, I think. Um, but it's a great scarf for beginners, especially beginners who are getting who had just had their hearts broken because they started knitting a stockinette scarf and it was curling up on them and they email me, how do I fix it? And I say, you don't, you start over with this scarf. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I tell them because this is, it's a, a good beginner scarf. You can use, and let me give you some more pointers on this. You can use any yarn, any color, any needle size. You can make it any width. It's good for men or women or kids. It's just simple enough that it's, uh, it really you know, makes pretty yarn look good, but it's also got enough going so it's not totally dull for the knitter. So um, it's called One Row Scarf because it's just the same stitches repeated over and over and over again. And oh, I wanna be sure to say this, if you're unsure of what needle size to use um, with any given yarn, you can, um, just use the needle size printed on the yarn label. That'll get you through just fine. Anyway, let's go and take a close-up look at the pattern. Now this is totally unblocked. This is just how it looks. It's beautiful and it's flat. It has this row of knit through the back stitches with some garter stitch between. And I actually, I started knitting this first. Um, but I wasn't sure if the pattern was really going to show up on camera. It's hard for me to tell when I look at my little monitor, but it, it really shows off a pretty yarn really nicely. And it's fun to knit. So I'm just going to run through, well I guess I could also say you can make this scarf as wide as you like. This is actually the 26 stitches that the pattern calls for. I believe it's a multiple of four plus two and I'll have that clarified on my website if you click through to my website. And I cast on a few more for this. So there's my end of my yarn. This is the pattern. Knit two, knit one through the back loop. A normal knit stitch goes in like that. I'm gonna put my needle into the back loop of this stitch, wrap it and pull it through, and then purl one. I'm going to yarn forward, purl that stitch, and then go right back to knit two. Knit two, knit into the back loop, purl one. Okay. Knit into the back loop, yarn forward, to purl one. Knit two. Knit into the back loop. Yarn forward to purl one. Okay, I want to talk about a few things here because let's say you're knitting along and the phone rings or the dog wants out or whatever. So you put your work down, you pick it back up again. You're like, where am I in this work? You know. How do I start? You can always start from the very beginning and go knit two, knit into the back loop, purl one. Knit two, knit into the back loop, purl one. Knit two, knit into the back loop, purl one. Knit two, knit into the back loop, purl one. And then I know the next stitch is knit two. The other thing that you can do, which is a little bit faster, is the, the, these stitches that are kind of popping off the fabric, these knit stitches that they're half knit through the back loop and half knit regularly. If you follow that up, this is your knit into the back loop stitch. So follow that column up, and it's this stitch right here, and so I know it's going to be knit two, knit into the back loop. It, it makes it easy if you get distracted and you want to pick up where you were. I'll tell you, you know, I was, these samples that I knit up, I was watching TV, and I did lose track of where I was a few times, but all I had to do was look at the work and look at this column of knit stitches to, to remember, ah, okay, I'm on a purl stitch now. 
or whatever it might be. It's a nice dense fabric too, very warm. If you, um, I'll go ahead and give a link to this too. If you go on Ravelry and you look at the different projects that people have made using this scarf, I think Stephanie Pearl McPhee actually calls this the one row hand spun yarn scarf. She has the word hand spun in there somewhere and it is a nice pattern to show off beautiful yarns. And if you click through to the finished Ravelry projects, you can see um, what people have done. You can actually knit a whole blanket. You can make this any width. You can see how different people have used this stitch um, to make different things. Uh, you know, for men and women, kids, whatever. It's this, there's no limit to this pattern. Anyway, I've suggested this pattern so many millions of times, it's, uh, I'm glad to have a video out on the techniques. Good luck.